So when I got my first Kevison, that's when I knew it was made for me. I've been introduced uh, to Skevison Guitars, which is a Polish brand, about a few years back, uh, thanks to Valentine, my bass player, uh, who had a really nice bass uh, back at that time, and I was really jealous. Uh, so I asked him uh, about the brand, and uh, a friend of us uh, during the Resilience uh, recording process, uh, he lent us a guitar, so it was three years ago maybe. Uh, it was the first time we tried a Skevison in the studio. And uh, back at that time, I uh, wasn't a huge fan, actually. I, I really enjoyed the look, but the sound was uh, a bit special for me. And uh, since, of, of course, I'm left-handed, I couldn't try the guitar uh, on my own. So um, the Skevison guys were nice enough to send me a guitar just to try it out. And uh, I kept it since. So it's been uh, three years I'm playing with this, uh, this beautiful girl right here. Uh, it's part of the Raptor family. It was pretty fresh in the scene that we are playing in uh, to have like wooden instruments like this. So I think, I think it, it looks really good. So it's a swamp ash body. It's uh, beautiful. And this is a maple spouted top. Uh, this is an ebony fretboard. Uh, here you've got some tune lockers. I believe it's hip shot. Uh, basically, when you tune your guitar, you just lock this in and then the tuning is not changing anymore, so it's, it's really amazing and it, it makes a big difference when you're on stage, you don't need to retune every song and stuff. Uh, so I really like this. Uh, the mics are um, bare knuckles, uh, nail bones, which are amazing uh, microphones. And I, I really love these now. I've, I've used this guitar and those mics in the studio for our upcoming new album, so I hope you will like the tone. The fretboard is pretty unique on those guitars, because as you can see here, the, the dots um, shine in the dark, and it's very nice. A uh, little scratch I have made on tour, unfortunately, was this one. I don't know if you can see, it's been repaired right here, because this pointy fragile part has been broken while we were playing in France. Uh, it's a pretty funny story. Like the, um, the light guy basically was running around uh, on stage and at some point he was tired or something, trying to fix something on the wall, like a light, and he just laid down. But this was not a wall. This was actually something very soft and he fell on all our guitars and this is what happened. Uh, so, of course, I was very pissed when, when this happened, but now it's, it's okay, it's been fixed and uh, it looks pretty cool. It's normal to have like scratches like that when you tour so much, you know, so you shouldn't pay too much attention if that happens to you. Um, so recently uh, I switched to uh, DR strings and I'm very happy with them. Uh, this is uh, uh, yeah, for drop, drop down tuning, obviously we are in drop A. Um, and these ones are 11 to 65. Uh, so I've got a pretty, uh, not very strong attack. So uh, this works for me. I know some people use this, like uh, Steve from my band uses a way bigger big string, uh, the, low, the lowest one. Uh, but 65 works for me. I've been using 62, 63 also. I know Barna Fazaris, for example, have a lower tuning than us and they use uh, smaller strings. So uh, this works perfectly, you know, they're very bright. Um, but uh, also very nice for yeah, the, the tuning we use. Um, what I like is like once it's tuned, it doesn't change at all. Before that, I used to change my tuning and to recheck between every single song uh, during the set. And now, once it's tuned, you know, with the tune locker and everything, it doesn't move, so it's amazing. I really like the R strings. Uh, so some people have been asking me uh, what guitar picks do I use? And um, I made some custom, custom ones. Which, are, which come in different colors. So it's BTM ones and they have a nice signature. Uh, but it's, it's, uh, it's fairly simple. It's what I've been using my whole life. It's 88. And these ones are made by Intune's uh, guitar picks in the States. I think they're pretty cool. I like this one because it glows in the dark. So if, I, if I'm lost somewhere on stage or if I drop it, I can easily see where it goes. So it's pretty cool.